People always ask me, John, I've been wanting to start a podcast, but I don't know how. John, I want to start a podcast, but I don't know where to start. We're going to help you out on how to get your podcast finally started. Let's get into the episode. Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. Look, stop leaving money on the table. Stop leaving money on the table. If you're a speaker, coach, consultant, or small business owner, this is for you. You're leaving more money on the table if you don't have a podcast. And look, I'm doing a free training. I'm gonna lay out all the steps. I'm gonna give you my 4P podcast strategy to where you can stop leaving money on the table and to where you can start getting this bag bag, okay? So hit the link just down below. I'm doing a free training and I'm gonna show you how you can start your podcast. I'm gonna show you how you can turn it into a revenue generating machine, increasing your customer base. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how you can be positioned as the authority in your industry so you can stop leaving money on the table and start getting this bag. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. I gotta go, I'm gonna holler at you. I'm going to show you how to start a podcast if you have low to no budget. One more time, I'm gonna show you how to start a podcast if you have low to no budget. So get your pencil, get your pen, get your notes, whatever you take notes on, I don't know. iPad, iPhone, Android, whatever. And let's dive into this content. So first things first, what we have to start with we have to identify what it is that we want our podcast to do okay like do you want this thing to help you get more attention of more potential customers do you want this thing to help you begin to capture people's like contact information do you want this to just set you up as a thought leader in your space or maybe Maybe you're somebody who want to make some money from this. More than likely, you want to make some money because the majority of people, they want to have a profitable podcast and they want to be able to monetize a podcast. So first, we got to identify that, right? And after we identify that piece, then the next thing that we must do, we got to identify what we're going to talk about. What are you going to talk about and who are you going to talk to? All right, so let's talk about it for a second. Are you going to share previous experience that you've had from maybe a former career path, a job you're currently working? Maybe you're going to share something that you're passionate about that you have interest in and you're currently navigating through this. What are you going to share? From what perspective? About what? And then we got to identify who are you talking to? Who is the special group of people that when they hear this content, they're going to say, hmm, that applies for me. Mm, you're talking to me. Oh yeah, that episode right there was for me. If you don't identify the content we're going to talk about and we don't identify who we're talking to, then we're just going to throw our podcast out there and just pray to the podcast gods that it hits and resonates with somebody. But more than likely, it will, but it's going to be a very small amount of people. Very, very small amount of people as opposed to getting a targeted group of people, which is why we have to identify what we're talking about and who we're talking to, okay? So cool, we got those things. We already talked about identifying the purpose, right? Making sure that the podcast is gonna do what you want it to do. Build your brand awareness, build your thought leadership, do all those things. But now you're saying, well, John, I don't have much money, but I wanna start my podcast. Where should I get started? And this is the the bright and shiny part that everybody always gets excited about. And I was excited about it too, right? I was guilty too, me, okay? So the next part, I'm gonna take you to the equipment because I know it's what you wanna see anyway. So let's look at the equipment. I went on Amazon and I typed in USB mics at the top, USB mics. And we can scroll, let's say you have a budget of $50 or less, okay? So we can go down here and on the left hand side, it says price under 25 or 25 to 50. We'll click 25 to 50. So now look at this range of mics. You can get one right here for $39.99. You can get one right here for 25 49 
right? So there are many mics that we can get for under $50. And if I was you, what I would do, I would suggest that you don't even invest in buying a mic just yet. You don't need that. Make it to your first 10 episodes and then make that determination. I've seen people too many times buy all this equipment, I was guilty, but they buy all this equipment and then they end up quitting the podcast. It's like 80% of people quit before they do seven episodes. So make sure it's in your best interest to know and identify that you wanna keep podcasting, okay? Let's just be clear. The industry is exploding. However, you need to make sure that you understand why you're doing a podcast and you have the ability to have that longevity. All right, so let's get these mics out of here. Yeah. The next thing that we would do if we have, like I said, limited budget, you would open up an account with Red Circle. Red Circle has a free plan. Red Circle is what you call a hosting provider or a distribution platform, depending on who you hear share about it. And the thing about Red Circle that I just want to highlight here Look, everything you need to take your podcast to new heights, grow faster, and earn money. Look what they offer. They offer hosting and distribution, just like I said, distribution platform. They offer analytics. That's people breaking down where are people listening from, how many listens are you getting per episode, and then they even have an ad platform where you can add on to where, where you can exchange ads with other people. Other people can exchange ads with you, right? So this is something that you would wanna consider if you're looking towards monetizing your platform. And mind you, that the free profile may not allow you to have some of these benefits or to the level that you desire. And if you, once again, if you have limited or no budget, or if you, have, you wanna make sure you're spending your money wisely, okay? And then there's cross promotion. It says you can partner with like-minded podcasters and grow. So if you have a show talking about technology and I have a show talking about technology as well, cross promotion could benefit both of us. If you're talking about sports and I talk about technology, uh, might not be the spot we want to be in. All right. And then they even have something called dynamic ad insertion. And that's where you can put an ad into your show even if you've already recorded it, they just take a little audio file and just pop it right in. It makes it really, really, really easy to promote and do ads and different things like that, right? And then it says they even got subscriptions and donations and it even says they have fast support. That's a great benefit as well, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you all. So um, Red Circle is who I would suggest. Like I said, if you have limited to no budget, then check them out, you know, see if they are the right uh, podcast distribution platform for you. But after this, family, the piece that I really want you to get, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you that when you sit down and record an episode, you sit down and record multiple. Yep. But John, I don't have time for that. I know, I know you don't. I don't have time for it either. However, working with the number of podcasters I've worked with, I've helped them start their podcasts, launch their podcasts, monetize their podcasts. <clears throat> the biggest thing that I've seen is the people that batch record are the people who are successful podcasting. Life happens, and life happens to us all. However, if we don't prepare for life happening, then that makes us a little bit neglectful. <clears throat> so I encourage you today, if you want to start a podcast in 2023 and beyond, just like I said before, identify what's the purpose of your podcast. What do you want it to do for you? Identify who you're talking to. 
That's a target audience. Identify what you're talking about. Then after that, get a mic if you desire. I'm not going to suggest that you get a mic. Not right out the gate. You got to show me 10 episodes first. Then after that, then go get your mic. Right? Go on Amazon, type in USB mics. I even put a couple of links just down below for you if you want to check out the ones that I use or that I reference to the people in my community. And then get on a distribution platform, a red circle, a Spotify for podcasters, right? There's so many other options that are available, but I just want to make sure that you all had a few, okay? If you got value from this episode and you're watching on YouTube, please drop some comments just down below. Let us know what was valuable for you, or even let us know what you would want to hear next.